First, though, keeping crosswalks safe. Daytona Beach Shores police cracking down on drivers who run right through them. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. The extra patrols come after two serious incidents involving pedestrians in crosswalks over the last month. News 6's Molly Reed is in Volusia County with a closer look at how officers are getting results. Well, there's six miles of A1A that stretches through Daytona Beach Shores here, and in that six miles, there's 22 crosswalks, two of which have the flashing lights like the one behind me, but the chief says even when the lights are flashing, not enough people are stopping for pedestrians when they go to cross the street. So now you'll see officers monitoring these crosswalks, getting ready to catch those who break the law. People. They go quick to get to where they, where they want to go, but uh, some people stop. It's dangerous for visitors or residents like Gina Humphreys, who uses these crosswalks on A1A every day and sees people running the risk of getting hit. They don't even look left or right, they just go. In June, Daytona Beach Shores police say a man was crossing A1A at night with his dog, using the flashing lights when a speeding motorcyclist hit them. They say the dog was killed, and both the driver and pedestrian were in comas, just recently recovering. Then, just last weekend, they say a pregnant woman and her six-year-old son were crossing this walkway when a car attempted to speed past and clipped her with their mirror, luckily only causing minor injuries. Once you step into that crosswalk, you are arguing with a vehicle. Chief Stephen Dembinski says Florida law is once a pedestrian is in a crosswalk, cars have to stop. This week, he's starting to have officers monitor crosswalks to catch drivers breaking that rule. And he's even having plainclothes officers act as decoys using the crosswalks themselves. And when people don't stop, we either warn them or give them a citation uh, for not stopping for a pedestrian. But that's dangerous for my officers. Uh, we've had a couple officers are almost hit because people are not paying attention in the cars. A recent study ranked Volusia County as the most dangerous metropolitan area for pedestrians in the U.S. He says saving pedestrians' lives is now about education for both walkers and drivers. You cannot legislate your way out of this pedestrian problem. It, it, we don't have enough police officers. There's not enough. I can't put a police officer at every crosswalk. Right. It just yeah. can't happen. And the chief says if they do catch you and you do get a citation, it will run you about 166 bucks. In Daytona Beach, Shores, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results. News 6.